All right, so <clears throat> y'all saw the photo on Instagram. We kind of had an interesting place to sleep last night, right? Well, turns out the dealership I was going to is uh, about one mile from uh, one of the guys in the Portland chapter's house, and he goes, "Well, you ain't sleeping in your truck. You're gonna, you're gonna come out here and sleep at my house." I said, "All right." <clears throat> Got her parked in the cul-de-sac, hung out, had some pizza, and. Uh, Finished the PTI, got her all warming up, and I'm gonna take off, get this one mile down the road, go deliver this thing, and still, still hoping that we can pick one up from Pendleton to Boise. So uh, I'll update you all as we go, and uh, catch you on the road. All right, so uh, it's Saturday morning. Um, got in last night, obviously. But I had some stuff come up while I was on my way home. I didn't get a chance to film the video for you guys. I, uh, I walked in the door, I took a shower, I ran out the door, and um, I didn't get home until 10 o'clock at night. So, <clears throat> didn't really get a chance to uh, close out the video from yesterday, so we'll carry that over today. And uh, we did not get a load from Pendleton to Boise or anywhere in that area. So we wound up deadheading all the way back from the Portland area, uh, Wood Village specifically. So the streetwalker went from Nampa where we picked up and then sat home. So I picked up literally two miles down the road that way, that, that way. And and it sat over the weekend, left from here, went down to Oakland, California, from Oakland, deadheaded to Los Angeles. Picked up in Los Angeles, went to Globe, Arizona, and dropped in Globe, deadheaded down to Tucson, picked up in Tucson, went to St. George. From St. George, deadheaded to Draper, Draper to Wood Village and then deadhead back home. Um, I had, I think I was right about six hours left on my cycle uh, out of my 70. And yeah, so if the, the load had appeared from uh, Pendleton to Boise, I would have taken it, obviously, because uh, I wouldn't be deadheading. And that's right along my path anyway, right? But it wasn't there, so we managed to get five loads um, all off of the reload board. Nothing out of Indiana, none of that uh, special stuff, you know. Well, I guess the first one technically was because it was uh, not an RV. So the first unit did require an ELD. That is true. Um, not that it was heavy. I mean, it was like 20, I think it, I think it was 2,400 pounds. But it did require an ELD, so... There's that. Anyway, I am going to go through here and wash the street walker because obviously she is filthy. And once I get that done, we'll go over the finances for this week. So y'all hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, she's all cleaned up. So let's go over this week. Uh, right before I left to go wash her, um, <clears throat> talk to you guys about where we went, what were loaded miles, what were deadheaded miles. Uh, so at the end of running all of that, I grossed just a little over twenty-four hundred or thirty-four hundred dollars in uh, six days. Right? Yes, six days. <clears throat> and then I spent a little over $700. So all in all, uh, call it 2,700 profit. Not a great week, but um, not a bad week. 20, 2,700 in the pocket, uh, which allowed me to stay here close to home 
because I, I wanted to be home this weekend. The kids start school Monday. So wanted to be here. I promised them we would go do something family fun tomorrow. So I'm running around getting this done, doing everything I did last night. Uh, it was club related. And I've got a project that I'm working on. I'm almost done right now. <clears throat> so as soon as I get everything put away here, I'll go finish that up, take a shower, and I've got uh, a fairly large club event going on tonight. Get that taken care of. Tomorrow is a family day. Um, not doing anything. No, no nothing. Just uh, me and the kids. And wife. Me, me, wife, and kids doing something. We haven't decided yet. Maybe we'll do an escape room. Those are fun. We actually grown to really like those. Um, go out to dinner, whatever. We're just gonna have a good time. Um, Monday, dropping the street walker off because again, and I can't figure out why it keeps doing this. It is failing to charge the battery. So I don't know what keeps causing it to do that. This is the third time since I've owned this truck, and. They say they go in, reset the computer. They took the fuse portion away, so you can't just replace a fuse under the hood like you could in the previous years. Uh, now it's it's computer controlled, and there's a breaker inside the computer that they have to go in and electronically reset. So, I don't know. Uh, we'll get that figured out. Also, I learned about something else, and I'm not gonna, I don't wanna talk about it until I know for sure it's gonna happen, but I learned of something else that I'm gonna try and get the dealership to do, which could be very beneficial for any of you who have a 17 or newer Ford. Um, again, I don't wanna talk about it until I know it's true. It's just something I heard about on the internet. So I will see if I can make it happen. And if so, I will share that knowledge with you. And again, if you have a 17 or newer Ford, this will be very beneficial to you in any type of transport work, whether it's RVs or hotshot or whatever. All right, so there you go. That's what happens when the load board, the reload board cooperates and uh, you're able to keep busy the whole time and run out your cycle. I mean, yeah, it was a decent amount of deadhead, but it wasn't terrible, like realistically, I think, I think it came down to a total of like 11 hours, 10 or 11 hours of deadhead, which throughout a week, it's not, it's not great, but it certainly, sweetenly, isn't terrible. All right, as always, those of you out on the roads, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care. And you know what? This time, have a great weekend.